Thank you for staying with Katie and Prime. Now, there is confusion at George Wajakoya's Roots Party after its party leader appeared to support Azimio Laomoja presidential candidate Raila Dinga. The confusion came to the fore after the presidential candidate and his running mate, Justin Awamai, publicly gave contradicting statements. We're now joined by Justin Awamai, who's the Roots Party presidential running mate, to shed some light on that. Welcome and good evening. Thank you for having me. Ash. Thank you for your time. Yes. So, majority of Kenyans want to know, is Roots a party or a project? Roots is a party. We aim to do our politics like what we've seen the conservatives. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are not happy with Boris. They had their own ideas. They, voiced, they had their voice heard. So Roots Party is very democratic, and we are not a project. Our aim was to show that Kenyans that see us as you are doing. You can be having arguments or, or difference in ideology, but you respect the other person. Okay. So that is what Roots Party stands for. But then there are some allegations that your boss is a mob. Is that true? No, my boss is not a mall. And I know where you're going to head <laughs> to, Ashley. Uh, what I did yesterday yeah. was to simply underpin my boss's view. My boss had given his own feedback. There was a party statement. And three times we have been accused of being a project. Mm -hmm. So I represent a constituency of women and youth. And they were telling me, when you keep quiet, you come off as a flower girl, Justina. So you had to, I had to put it out, out, out my voice, and my, my boss was aware of it. Okay. It's only that you know how people misconstrued it, but I was underpinning my boss's position and Ruth's party position, okay. that you're not joining either side, and we've not had any conversation in that direction. Okay, just to take you back, because you said your boss was aware. Today morning, he was on KT News with my colleague, Dibala Inea, and he said, I have molds in my party who are working for other people. I quote, I know who they are. I have worked previously in formal arrangements as a spy. Spying on a spy is difficult. There are people who seek information from us to peddle out there. So why not deal with these malls once and for all? In fact, uh, it's not the first time my boss has said that. And you know he has his intelligence. I respect that. So from where he sits, he advised me that let's not come off aggressive towards the malls. Yeah. So he told me let's just flow with them and let them see that whatever they're trying to achieve will not be achieved. So we, we cannot pinpoint and say that we're going to throw them out. A spy is very slow and quiet in action. But you yourself are on record saying if push comes to shove and you need to take a stand on who to support, you will support the contrary. Who is the contrary in this case? Ashley, did you see that today uh, a Ghana party leadership offered me a position? <laughs> they are yes. our worthy opponents. They are, they are the two worthy opponents. But I said because we've not had this discussion as a party, we are not intending to have this discussion as a party. So we, we are not, I'm not going to say that we are, we are going to either direction because our agenda as Roots Party is to push the Roots Party manifesto. And this was very important. Remember, the Roots Party had spoken. Professor is the man in the party who is consolidating the male voice. But my role there is to amplify the voice of the women and the youth. So I didn't want the women of this country or the youth of this country to be seen as page boys or flower girls. So I needed to speak my truth, representing the constituents. And by that, it made a lot of sense. Many youth called me and women that are telling me, you did a good thing. Mm -hmm. So that even in the ground, we are more energized to seek for votes because we are being seen how a leadership of a woman or a youth will be positively impactful. Okay, but let's just go back to where all this started. This started because your boss is alleged to be supporting a different presidential candidate. And that is why you came out to say what you said. But then still Kenyans want to know, because you yourself have, have mentioned the fact that these allegations have been there not once, not twice, but three times. And you came out saying, they, if I was to support, then I will support the contrary. You said Justina Wamai has a mind of her own. Yes. So as Justina right now, who is the contrary? Uh, what I can tell Kenyans is that my boss has something we call global exposure. And he has seen how politics out there runs. He has seen that it's mostly issue based, not on personalities. So the challenge with my boss, what he faced was that he was speaking about the history and how he has related with the other presidential candidates. Unfortunately, the part of Azimio was captured, but he had spoken to all the three who we are competing with. So what, what did I see as myself? If it ever comes to that point, which it hasn't, mm -hmm. our agenda is the Roots Party agenda, then we can have the conversation. I mean, even in the conservatives, within themselves there are those who are supporting the Britex 
and those who did not. But it didn't mean that the party broke up. It means that our party is very democratic. Our party is issue-based. Our party is that you should be a psychophant. Do you remember even before the, the debate, my boss was asked, is your running mate attending? And he said this thing, that our party is democratic, I have a mind of my own, and he does not control me. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to show Kenyans is that, is that you shouldn't be a, a, a psychophant to be relevant in a party. You can raise your voice, you can speak your truth, and then you're going to come into an amicable solution without necessarily by walking out of the party or splitting the party. Okay, so then why the confusion? Why not speak as one team? Oh, unfortunately, my, my boss has been away and I was in Nairobi. We have a challenge of logistics. So even when he was away, we had discussed and we said, instead of losing out on TV interviews, he'll be on the ground meeting the people. I'll be doing the TV interviews. So we had to give the, 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 our feedback in different places where we are because it was a very hot issue. But they are phones. But as of now, yeah. my boss and I are not in any conflict. I respect my boss and I respect the direction that Roots Party is taking to ensure that Kenyans see politics as a different thing in terms of not being a psychophant. You can raise your voice. We are in very good terms with my boss. All right. So yes. look at it this way. We are four days to the general election, around 48 hours to go when it comes to campaigning. Where does this leave Roots Party in general? Because there seems to be confusion and your supporters are equally confused on what is happening. Where do you think this leaves you? Roots Party is stronger now. In fact, it was very important or paramount of us to give that statement. Because if you see the polls, we were going, we were just taking a nosedive. But now our supporters are confident that we are not going to leave our home to join another home. Your vote is going to be very, very, it's going to be careful. Or how do I put it? Your vote is very relevant for Roots Party. So don't be afraid to vote for Roots Party. We are not a project. We are not splitting up. We are not burning our home. So our voters, we have agents across the 46,229 polling stations across the country. Your vote will be protected. But one, one thing we are telling you, our voters and our supporters, please vote and go home if you're not an agent. An agent. Remember they say Rasta men are not peaceful. We do not want you to be blamed for any act of lack of peace. But our party is very strong and our supporters, this statement from my boss as the Roots Party and Justina was to consolidate our vote. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Justina Omaye, for at least, you know, painting a picture and shedding some light on that issue. Roots Party presidential running mate, that is Justina Omaye. But moving on, Deputy President William Bruto led his Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade for a last rally in the coast region 